In this video, I want to talk about are you allergic or intolerant to wheat and gluten? Among the most common food allergies are wheat and gluten. Hello, I'm Mike Heinz from JustKnowGluten.com. If you like the video and the content, want to give it a like or subscribe to my channel. Hit the subscribe button below. Okay, let's go back to the content. But exactly what is a food allergy? Is that the same as food intolerance? Allergies occur when the body mistakes an ingredient in food as harmful, so it prepares to defend itself against the attacker, which in this case is the food. Allergy symptoms develop when the body's immune system releases antibodies to battle the harmful food. Food intolerance is the response from the digestive system to an, to an irritating food rather than a response of the immune system. The digestive system cannot properly digest or break down the food, thus creating an intolerance. Wheat allergy symptoms can include skin rashes or hives, nausea, stomach pain, diarrhea, itchy skin, ex eczema, joint and muscle aches and pains, shortness of breath, chest pain, swelling of the airways, and anaphylaxis. Symptoms of wheat intolerance may include stomach pain, nausea, cramps, bloating, gas, vomiting, heartburn, diarrhea, headaches, irritability, and an unexplained runny nose or itchy eyes. The symptoms of the gluten allergy include upper repository tract problems, fatigue and chronic fatigue syndrome, mouth ulcers, anemia, osteoporosis, weight loss, short stature in children, diarrhea, constipation, bloating and other digestive tract problems, also depression, depression autism and attention problems, skin problems and irritability. The symptoms of gluten intolerance include weight loss or even weight gain, nutritional deficiencies, bloating, pain, gas, constipation, diarrhea, aching joints, depression, eczema, headaches, fatigue, irritability and behavioural changes, cramps, tingling and numbness, and slow infant and child growth. Other than the severity of the symptoms, the differences between allergies and intolerances are that an allergy can be triggered even when a tiny amount of the offending food is eaten. On the other hand, food intolerance is related to the amount of food consumed. A small amount may not cause any disturbance, but eating a large portion or eating the food frequently may produce the symptoms. Then what about celiac disease? Celiac disease is very similar to gluten intolerance, but the outcome is more severe. With celiac disease, the inner linings of the small intestine has an, an allergic reaction to the gluten that is present in the wheat and other grains, such as rye. This reaction causes the small intestine to become inflamed and reduces absorption of the nutrients that pass through the small intestine from the food. One of the main symptoms of celiac disease is gastrointestinal problems that include bloating, gas, cramps, diarrhea and fatty stools. Eventual signs of malnourishment will appear as a result of nutrients not being properly absorbed by the small intestine. Some people with celiac disease can tolerate small amounts of gluten, but others will experience severe symptoms within just a few minutes of eating an offending food. Treatment for wheat and gluten allergy or intolerance and celiac disease all involve removing wheat and gluten from your diet. So, avoidance of wheat, rye, barley and oats is totally necessary. So all foods that, can't, that contain those ingredients must also be avoided. Avoid processed foods and beer and do be careful with vitamins and supplements that contain gluten as well. Wheat and gluten. What is actually the difference? Some people suffer from allergies and intolerances to wheat and gluten. These allergies and intolerances can cause symptoms that are fairly mild to life-threatening. But what is the difference between wheat and gluten? It seems that sometimes the, world, the words are almost used interchangeably in ingredient lists and conversations about which what ails us 
but there is in fact a difference. Wheat is a grain, and I assume we all know that. Gluten is the sticky protein that is found in wheat and other grains such as barley, rye, malt, and to some extent oats. Wheat and gluten are related, they, they come together in a package. Gluten is what binds the dough in breads and baked goods. So, if wheat and gluten are not the same thing, but are so closely related, is it possible to have an allergy or an intolerance to one and not the other? Well, if you're allergic to gluten, you need to stay away from wheat, since wheat contains gluten. And if you're allergic to wheat, since gluten is part of wheat's makeup, then you probably need to avoid gluten as well. But, if you're allergic only to wheat, you can still enjoy other grains that have gluten in them. What are the signs and symptoms of a wheat or gluten allergy or intolerance? Allergic reactions to wheat and or gluten for that matter can include the following digestive disturbances such as vomiting, diarrhea, gas, constipation and bloating, chest pains, nausea, hives, eczema, swelling and even anaphyx lexus. Symptoms of wheat and or gluten intolerance can be digestive disturbances similar to wheat gluten allergy. Fatigue, irritability, skin irritations, vomiting, heartburn and headaches. Allergy symptoms will usually come on very quickly after ingesting of even a small amount of wheat or gluten. The symptoms of intolerance may not show up at all or be delayed. Sometimes people with intolerances can have a small amounts of wheat or gluten with no problem, only having issues when they eat large amounts of the problem ingredient. Gluten intolerance or allergy has also been tied to autism and other behavioural disorders. Research is currently being conducted, but placing autistic children on a gluten-free diet has shown positive results. I discussed that very subject in my last video, children with autism and a gluten-free diet, and you can actually view it on my channel. Along with autism, gluten allergies seem to cause other symptoms that wheat allergies don't. They include osteoporosis, weight gain or weight loss, slow growth in infants and children, and depression. If you suspect you have a wheat or a gluten allergy or an intolerance, you should immediately consult your doctor or a dietitian for testing and to find out the best ways to handle your disorder. While there's no way to cure an allergy or an intolerance for wheat, gluten or any other type of food, you can control the symptoms by avoiding foods and ingredients that cause your discomfort. I do hope you enjoyed the video and you found the content informative. If so, why not subscribe to my channel? Hit the subscribe button below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye for now.